Today, I have a real story about our family vacation to a national monument here in the United States so that you can learn English vocabulary and phrases in the best way possible, in context, by listening to a story. Welcome to English Coach 3 T's. I'm Tanya, and a few years ago, our family traveled to the Pacific Northwestern part of the United States in Washington State and Oregon. There we visited Mount St. Helens, Seattle, and some of the surrounding attractions. This was a few years back, or more than a few years back, when both Talia and Trinity were really into American Girl Dolls. If you haven't heard about American Girl Dolls, this is a huge American cultural thing that wasn't a part of my childhood, but became very popular later on. And you're going to see some of them here in this video. It didn't matter where we went, even to the airport, the girls had their dolls with them. And you can see Talia here with her doll, Julie, getting ready to get on a flight. Even though we spent most of our vacation seeing beautiful, breathtaking scenery, one of the favorite parts for the girls was the pool at the hotel. This was not something that was a part of my childhood with family vacations. As far as I'm concerned, if the kids were happy, this was vacation. So that's what vacation is all about. We started our vacation in Seattle, Washington. And of course, we went and saw some of the very popular tourist attractions like the Sky Needle and the Farmer's Market. For me, the farmer's market was one of the things I really enjoyed, although I have to say it had huge crowds. I'm the kind of person who likes to spend my time in a rural area or out in nature. And in the farmer's market, people were packed in like sardines. This is a phrase we use just to say there were so many people so close together. Since that time, I've traveled to Mexico and spent a month there and found that the personal space bubble in the United States is very different than it is in other countries. When I say our personal space bubble, what I mean is even when we pack people in, as soon as possible, we will respect what we think of as a personal space bubble around each person. And usually, for the most part, people we don't know won't come into that space. And even people we do know might come and give us a hug or we might shake hands, but we'll still respect that space. While we were at the farmer's market, we saw all kinds of cool things. If I remember correctly, that's where we bought our souvenir t-shirts. Souvenirs, of course, are a big part of family vacation. And especially for my girls, they love the part of shopping for and picking out and deciding which souvenir they're going to take home. If you feel overwhelmed with all of the vocabulary and phrases there are to learn in English, and you sometimes feel frustrated when you're trying to speak, don't worry because I have created a free class for women who have immigrated to an English speaking country. If you have an intermediate to advanced level of English, this is the class for you. In this class, three secrets to becoming fluent without wasting time and without doing things that don't work. I'm going to teach you exactly what to do so you can get started on a plan that specifically works for your fluency journey. If you'd like to join this class, Click the link in the description below or go to the link you see on our screen to register for free. If you're in Seattle, you have to go to the original Starbucks or at least that's what my family thinks. As you probably know, Starbucks is a very famous world known coffee shop and it started with one shop in Seattle, Washington. For me, it was kind of a way to show my kids some of history and have it be something that they were really interested in. Another popular thing for my girls on vacation and quite frankly, pretty much any time they had some time to kill, 
meaning they had some time while they were waiting and they wanted something to do, they would take a lot of pictures on my cell phone. So they would borrow my cell phone. Usually they would go out into the lobby of a restaurant or the parking lot. And here you can see one of my girls took several pictures of Trinity doing all kinds of things. And then when I get my phone back, I have a surprise of what kind of pictures have been taken. I remember at the time thinking that this was very fun because it's not something that I could have done as a child. And now these years later, I have to say, I'm so glad I let them do this because I love looking back at these silly pictures. We did spend a lot of time in the city, but I got my fair share of time in nature. You can see here that we had a picnic and we took some time to take a walk or we would often take hikes and see all kinds of beautiful things. Covered bridges are a big part of American history, especially in the Northeast. So here in the Northwest, it's fun to see a covered bridge and just walk across it and spend some time contemplating this historical site, as well as this sign you can see Talia next to, reminding us that there are bears in this area. Do you have bears in your part of the world? I haven't actually seen one in person, and I have to say I'm very grateful. A lot of people who love nature like I do really love the idea of being able to see a bear in the wild, and for me, I can pass on that, meaning I will be totally fine if I spend my whole life without coming face to face with a bear in the wild. One of the memories our family still talks about is the time we were on this vacation and Talia and Trinity decided to be junior rangers. The national parks and the national monuments have sort of a program for young people in general, mostly younger children and young teenagers, and they can get a passport. It's obviously not an actual passport, but it's a book that looks like a passport. They can get stamps for each of the national parks and monuments that they visit. Taking a tour to see and learn more about Mount St. Helens was particularly interesting to me since I was a teenager at the time that this volcano erupted in 1980. And I remember hearing about it and learning about it in my early days of high school or might have been junior high. The eruption of this volcano is said to have been one of the most disastrous volcano eruptions in the United States. In these pictures, you can see the mountain before and after. And of course, we went into their museum and learned more about it. This picture, you can see Julie and Abby with Tiana, Talia, and Trinity. These are their American Girl dolls that I mentioned to you earlier, and they went with us everywhere. I'm pretty sure we have as many family memories and stories about these two dolls as we do other family members. As we drove down the coast between Washington State and Oregon, we stopped at an adorable little town called Astoria. As I said earlier in this video, small towns are more my thing. You can say something is your thing if it's something that you enjoy or it's the thing you like doing. Other ways to say this thing is this little town was more my cup of tea or in this case, this little town was more my speed, especially since the city tends to be very frantic, a lot of energy and a lot of things happening, which a lot of people love. But the smaller towns tend to go at a little bit slower pace, meaning a slower speed. In this little town, there's a tower where you can learn a lot about the history. And of course, you can climb the stairs to the top of the tower. Of course, Julie and Abby came along with us and we got these little airplanes at the bottom that were made out of a very lightweight wooden material. The girls carried them all the way to the top of the spiral staircase. And then at the top, they could toss them off and watch them glide down off of the tower. 
in that area is a house that was used in Goonies, an older American movie. We didn't spend a lot of time here, just long enough to see the house and the high school that you can see in the movie. Cannon Beach is very famous and you may have seen pictures because of Haystack Rock that you can see in this picture. The girls enjoyed some time in the ocean, which to me is a much better choice than the swimming pool, but of course both have their pros and cons. Which do you prefer? Spending time on the beach or spending time in a swimming pool? On one of our nature hikes, we hiked on a trail where we got to see lots of wild flowers that were indigenous to that part of the country. And we ended up at this cool lighthouse overlooking the ocean. The girls and I did spend time at the beach and even rented this little bicycle buggy. Maybe you can see in this picture that it has four seats and all four people can pedal to make it go. I loved watching the girls play and having such a fun time frolicking in the waves. And I couldn't help but include this picture of them posing. You can really see the difference between a posed picture and a relaxed snapshot. If we take a picture that's not posed, we call it a snapshot. If you like learning about vocabulary while you're also learning about the national monuments and parks in the United States, then you'll want to check out this video where I talk about our vacation to Yellowstone National Park. See you there.